We're here with the winning pitcher of game one of the Black and Gold World Series, Spencer Davis. Spencer, you went four innings, the maximum amount, only took 45 pitches. What was working out there for you to, uh, this afternoon? Well, I mean, I had a little bit of everything working, but definitely fastballs down in the zone today. I got a lot of good play from my defense. Hayden Platt did a great job behind the plate. And I was just really fortunate to have good defense today, so that really helped us a lot. One thing, uh, you know, there was there were some walks, there were some hit batters today, but you yourself didn't, didn't kind of fall victim to that. No walks, two strikeouts, only one hit allowed. Uh, is that something you pride yourself on to be able to, you know, keep balls down in the zone, but also not walk people? I mean, it certainly is. I mean, it's definitely our goal as a staff to throw a lot of strikes, and we don't want to walk people. I mean, today, obviously, a lot of walks, but I mean, you got to win games at the end of the day, and we did that, but we always want to throw a lot of strikes. So, so your Black and Gold World Series is actually over. You pitched uh, your four innings today. You're not going to pitch tomorrow or the next day. So what's your role going to be uh, moving forward now for, for the Gold Squad? Well, obviously, I'm done, so I'll just be cheering my teammates on. I mean, I'm, obviously, I'm one of the older guys, so definitely still trying to teach some of the younger guys what we do and we don't do, so uh, showing them UCF baseball, I guess. So try to do that. Well, Spencer, congratulations on picking up the first victory, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. We're here with the winning manager of game one of the Black and Girl World Series, Kyle Sprague of the Gold Squad. Coach Sprague, you, uh, you guys had an eight run inning, uh, picked up, uh, you know, got a lot of base runners, had a big uh, RBI bases clearing double. What was really working in that inning, would you say? You know, uh, our guys had a great approach that inning. They, they took each at bat differently. Um, the guys uh, that started off the inning, they set the table for uh, Barber, who came through with a big bases clearing double and uh, was able to get us eight runs in that inning and uh, get the lead there uh, going into the later innings. So uh, if you had to single out a couple of different players that really impressed you from your squad today, uh, who, who would you say impressed you the most? Uh, Spencer Davis obviously had a great game today. He threw four innings and uh, gave up one hit, no runs. And uh, also Barber, uh, Eric Barber, he uh, had that basis clearing double in the fourth inning there. Now you have a chance tomorrow to really take uh, you know command of the, of the series, go up 2-0. Obviously you can't clinch tomorrow, but but who's going to be on the mound for you to, to start out tomorrow's game? Yeah, we're going to go with uh, right-handed pitcher Tyler Martin. He's been here in the past, and he knows what it takes to win. And uh, we feel very comfortable with him getting on the mound and starting game two for us. How excited are you to possibly break uh, Coach Klosterman's two-series two winning streak and then uh, keep him from getting his uh, beloved three-peat? Yeah, and, uh, I heard about his uh, winning streak coming in, and uh, they asked me what I was going to do to change that and uh, we had the draft yesterday or Monday actually and uh, I, I selected the guys that I thought could do it and uh, and game one there they they proved to be right now we just got to stay strong through these next two games and uh, hopefully in that winning streak for coach Klosterman and uh, knock him off his podium there start a winning streak of your own that's right all right coach well congratulations on the victory we'll talk to you again soon all right thanks Andrew